Welcome to the tutorial how to make an extra copy of your Outlook emails. Now to do this we're going to be using the Mailer Sync. So you're going to need to download that. You can get that from www.demailer.com. Once you arrive at the website under software, Demailer Sync and download. To do this tutorial today, I'm going to be saving the mailer sync to my portable storage device, which is a USB key. You can use a portable hard drive or anything else, but it is recommended you store it on something portable and uh, not to your computer, obviously, so it acts as a backup um, and makes it mobile to, um, to be used and accessed in another computer. So, I'm just going to save that there. Okay, that's Okay, now that that's complete, um, we can open the uh, storage drive up. There it is. Now, if you see a file like this without a picture, it probably means um, you don't have any zipping software. So, what I recommend is that you download 7-Zip um, from 7-Zip.com or you can use WinZip or something, something else. Um, there's plenty of them out there. Uh, most are free um, and that will allow you to extract the file. Okay. Now once that's extracted, all you have to do is uh, double click and launch the Mailer Sync. This is going to launch the configuration wizard for the software. Um, this software does actually does not require installation, so you're not going to have to install it every time you want to use it on another computer. Um, of course, the first time you uh, you launch it, you must configure a profile and uh, choose some settings, but, but it's uh, not an actual uh, installation. Okay. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is read and accept the license agreement. It's very simple. Try, trial. Okay, we need to fill out the um, registration window here just quickly. Um, Okay, uh, that's probably enough. And I'm from Australia, so let's put that in. Okay, let's go register. Okay, great. Right, so we need to create a minimum four letter password here. Um, in order to secure the profile, you can have a password hint and add lost and found information if you want someone to return it when it's been lost or stolen or something like that. You can offer a reward and do a few cool little things in there. Okay, so once we're here, um, we've got a, a list of options. So today we're going to take Outlook emails, um, but of course uh, you could take a Windows Mail Exchange. As well, you can take files. Um, we're not going to take them for this exercise. We're not going to take bookmarks either. Um, okay, and we don't want the desktop. Alright, so come into here. Excellent. So in here we've got some extra advanced options that you can configure and play with. Um, size and uh, date filters. Today we're not going to be using any of them, but by all means, if you'd like to play with some of them, please do. Okay, so we've selected Outlook and that's it. So now we just click Next and the synchronization will begin. Okay, oh, sorry, we've got to install Skype. So we won't install Skype for this exercise. We're going to skip. Right, the synchronization starts there. Excellent, and that's done. Okay, so now what we do have is a second copy of Outlook that is stored on our key. Okay, if we come into emails here, here we will see copy of our Outlook, things like this. Um, this very similar to Outlook structure. Um, we can create new emails um, and we can send and receive from any computer in the world. So if you're at a friend's place and you need to forward an email on, you can pull it up and send it um, with ease. Um, and uh, your calendar contacts task, everything else is, uh, is copied over correctly. Um, so as well, would, 
another option is to upload your data to an online server. So this is practical if you don't have um, a USB key or something like that. You can actually create an online account um, and back your, your data up to one of the mailers as a storage servers. If you do that though, you won't have the functionality of the mailer sync on the computer uh, such as this email client and the ability to send and receive emails. In order to do this, you need to synchronize the data and store it to the key. So in a real life scenario, if we then moved computer, connected our key, we would see this. We could launch the mail sync. Um, we would log in with the username and password we created before, and there would be our extra copy of the mail of uh, Outlook. Okay. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial for today. Thank you.